Here we are at the Peggy Guggenheim Foundation in Venice, talking with Susan Davidson about Motherwell and the exhibition that is still opening here at the foundation. So, a very impressive artist working mostly on collage, and this uh, because maybe Peggy Guggenheim pushed this uh, artist to use this technique that will become his own great technique. So, could you tell us something more about the artist? Well, you know, in putting together the exhibition, I wanted to look at Motherwell's focus in the collage technique. It was something that really informed him as an artist. He worked almost in the same amount of painting as he did in collage. And I also wanted to look specifically at that first decade in which he was making collages, because the works in this time period, from 41 to 51, in fact, are very different from what we know about uh, when we think about Motherwell and his abstract expressionism. This work in the exhibition really shows him being introduced to surrealism, working through a lot of the various techniques and mannerisms and uh, exploring surrealism fully, and then by after the Second World War and after his first exhibition at, with Peggy Guggenheim in 1944, he, he begins slowly to move toward a very defined abstract expressionist style. So this is an exhibition about an artist finding his identity. And uh, his identity started with a very uncolorful collage, and then after a very important travel to Mexico, and this has been something very important for a lot of artists. Mexico means colors, means light, and we can find this light and these colors inside the paintings that he made after. Absolutely, you really see it in a work such as I'm standing by called The Pink Door, this incredibly vibrant uh, rose and pink color that's outlined again in a darker. It really shows Motherwell's engagement in um, the colors and the vibrancies of Mexico, and also in his native California. The ochre is, as well is a color that very much is part of the palette, and often this kind of blue-gray that could be interpreted as the sky. This particular collage is really interesting for two reasons. It shows this beautiful found paper, German decorative paper, that Motherwell bought in a store in New York City, which he uses as a kind of patterning within the collage. And he also then outlines it in this very vibrant purple. So in this work, we really see um, the, the various uses of color and of papers, and also these very broad strokes of, of, of paint. With the passing of years, uh, he started to be more uh, abstract. Yes. So even if the technique, uh, collage, remains, uh, but uh, he started to use uh, less uh, three-dimensional effect uh, on uh, the glowing um, part in paper and uh, uh, part in uh, color. So less materic, if we can see. Yes, you also see Motherwell working in more, in, first in more figurative tradition, and then it becomes a lot more purely abstract. Which is the characteristic, uh, the fact that we can understand and we can recognize a uh, Motherwell uh, painting? about the abstractism, not only the collage, or even the human forms, and not human beings, because this is very abstract. No, And uh, we know that uh, there is only one Motherwell in the Peggy Guggenheim Foundation. So this is a real great occasion for visitors, for people coming and see the exhibition, to, uh, to pair the one that belongs to the foundation and all these other paintings that come from... Uh, yes, they found their sisters. Thanks to what the uh, Guggenheim 
collection homes. Thank you very much. Thank you.